Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to you. Yay! You want some cake? Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlogs. We daily video. Make sure you come back every day. Daddy's turning 31 today. 31. What? Cake? Cheesecake for breakfast. So it's not absolutely freezing out. Oh, do you smell that? I do, yeah. So we're taking a walk to get some coffee and tea and maybe hopefully James will fall asleep for his nap. Mm -hmm. And the stroller. Sarah was editing, I was doing the dishes. We're doing a productive day at home since I'm not 100% to go out and about full-fledged like birthday stuff. So a good day to get the house organized, right? Yeah, so we're like... I mean, I'm a little bit bummed. I want to make your birthday special. It's going to be special if we can get our home all organized. Though. Yeah, but we'll also find little little pockets of special things. Like this jacket I got on. Yeah. It was my, my birthday present from Sarah and the Sicarts. Yeah, but um, we're going to go out for your birthday another time. Yeah, just not today. Last time we were here, they had Hocus Pocus drinks. Now they have Titanic ones. I just want to look at all of the labels on there. <laughs> Tea and coffee. This is really like your high school dream to make all those labels. Yeah. Jamesy, look, you got some stickers. What did you get? I got a London Fog with lavender. It's different. I know I've had one before. You have to like remember that it's tea. Yeah, I forgot it was tea. Kind of freaked yeah. me out. <laughs> and why are we test like testing each other's? I got a car scene from the Titanic. Hot. It's got, it had something called sweet heat in it, which I assumed was like some kind of like chili sweet yeah. liquid. I couldn't drink this whole thing because I'm just like not a coffee person. There's not enough like extra. Sugars to mask it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it tastes like rich, like in the same way like a chocolate is rich. Yeah. So we have been home and Peter hit, like wasn't fully up for like going out to eat so we ordered something in like I said before we're gonna go out to celebrate um, but it's kind of like worked out we've kind of gotten stuff done around the house that we've been meaning to I'm trying to convince myself this different kind of fun is okay <laughs> if it's okay with you I mean. I'm okay with it so we got Cheba Hut it's James's little PB&J yeah, toasted PB&J Here's mine. I got a Greek chicken sandwich. And what is yours? I got an Italian sandwich with yeah. no olives because I might have an aversion to that. Oh, oh gosh. We got a on. Do you look like Kevin McAllister? Uh oh. A squabble. Evie, are you so cozy in the laundry? Okay, say it's good to be home, but it's a two parter. So we'll see you in a second tomorrow. It's good to be home. Jamesy. Boom. Boom. <laughs> do the magic. <laughs> good evening. We're so happy you're here. Starting the vlog right now. We do daily vlogs, so if you enjoy this, we make sure you come back every day. Well, we have your birthday. It's gonna be a two-parter, three-parter, four-parter, five-parter. It's already six o'clock. It started like here. It started here for Sarah. Started like here for me. And then we kind of met, and then we kind of went down together. Yeah. So we're just gonna go with the flow for the next couple hours until we uh, tackle bedtime. It's uh 9:35, and both kids are asleep. I don't know the last time this happened. So I actually don't know what to do. We're like, should we watch a movie? What movie should we watch? I know there's like a thousand we want to watch. I feel watch. like you've been saying 
Like there's a whole list of things. Christina will literally be like, have you guys watched? And I'll be like, no. Um, Nothing. We also had more cheesecake for my birthday today. And I think it hurt our tummies. I think it's just like filling. But hopefully these kids stay asleep. They need it. And then like maybe we'll get to watch a movie like as the olden days. We get to see a really cool movie this weekend. Yeah, when, where should we go for Peter's birthday? No, we're gonna like do my birthday up sometime soon. Where should we go? It's gotta be in Chicago, guys, sorry. I'm not going to Disney or anywhere else for a while. A while is in less than a month. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. He's so busy watching his big brother play. Um, but we will vlog today. We will do it. I think, I think we're 100%. I, th I think we're, we're just about, maybe 92. And nothing's gonna bring me down today. Get him, get him. All right, just look at this beautiful street with its little Christmas lights on and a little overcast and garland. It just looks like it's almost Christmas time. And I go, Peter, what are you, why is the sun still out? Well, it's not. It's going to be gone in like 10 minutes. Um, I stepped away from my work computer for just a little bit early to go run over to Jewel while James was napping to try to get a banana cream pie, one of Sarah's mom's favorites. So uh, I, I don't know if Sarah mentioned it when she introed earlier or if she said it all that today is Sarah's mom's birthday. Also, Steve from Tampa. So forget that guy. But it's Sarah's mom's birthday. So we're going to get a dessert that she loved to have in honor of her because we miss it and we love her. So I'm going to James' favorite store, Jewel, to see if they have one. In honor of mom's birthday, some banana cream pie. We're also cleaning and organizing the kids' room. Mm -hmm. We're kind of like, well, well, we can talk about this later, but we got our like lease renewal information and we're not staying in this apartment next year. And so we're kind of like getting the apartment set for the rest of the time we live here. Yeah. Crazy. We'll talk about more about that later. We had another low key day. I mean, we are, we are on the mend. We have been like in and out of different bugs basically since we were in Disney. Like it has just been one that's rolled right into the other. And so, um, I'm hoping this is the end of it, and I'm hoping that we steer clear of anything else. Um, we're actually going to be like doing Christmas and then staying home after that um, because we want to be so careful to stay healthy for the Dopey Challenge and for the Disney cruise that we're going on. So we're kind of like, anyone that we're with, we're like, please, no, no even tickles in your throat. Um, because we just wanna, we just really wanna enjoy um, our trip and get on, get on that cruise ship. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am hopping on the Peloton for the first time in a long time. It actually logged us out, I had to like, get back in because I haven't ridden in so long. Um, start of a new chapter, I'm gonna get back into it. I hear there's a Disney ride at 6 a.m. Um, that I'm thinking about doing. We'll see if that happens, but anyways, getting motivated to get back on. I am just doing a scenic ride and I'm gonna watch Dead to Me on Netflix, so I have an incentive to get on. Um, but yes, anywho, if you are new here, I realized I like kind of said that quickly about the cruise, like we're getting on the cruise. Um, and I wanted to give just a quick recap. I know this is a shorter vlog, so I figured this would be a good one to kind of cover this. Um, so basically, if you haven't been following our story for long, we went through infertility and we tried for a baby for a really long time and we found our way to IVF. Our very first transfer did not work. And because we like to treat ourselves when things don't go our way, um, we booked a Disney cruise 
for 2020, January of 2020. This camera is heavy, sorry, I had to switch hands. So we booked a cruise for January of 2020. Um, you know, this is before anything was going on with COVID. We booked it. Well, then I did another embryo transfer and it worked and I was pregnant and we were so excited because at the cruise I would have been like five months pregnant, like wonderful second trimester was going to be like a great like accomplishment. We get on this cruise, finally pregnant after years and years. And then we unfortunately lost that baby to a miscarriage. And so obviously we were like, okay, well, we're still going to go on this cruise. It's January 2020. We're kind of figuring out when we're going to try again for another embryo transfer. We get situated. We're going to try again in February. So we're going to go on the cruise. We're going to get all relaxed and rested. And then we're going to go on this cruise. We're just like, you know, in treatment, chatting with our nursing staff about how we're going on vacation. And we're so excited. It's a cruise. I hang up the phone and then my nurse calls back and she says, where are you going? And we said, the Bahamas. And they said, well, because there's still a risk of Zika virus in the Bahamas, we cannot move forward with treatments for 12 weeks after you get back from the Bahamas to make sure um, that everything is okay on having a baby. Um, if you're unaware, the Zika, the Zika virus did have known like potential birth defects if you were affected by the virus. So we were just gutted because this, you know, cruise we'd been, we had had it planned for so long. Um, so we canceled the cruise in 2020, not for COVID, um, but because of Zika. So in February, we transferred, we did our transfer, and that is our James. James was transferred in February, and he was born in November of 2020. So obviously, 2020, things shut down. Um, but come 2021, we're chatting about, you know, doing Dolby Challenge again, and they start doing Disney cruises, start sailing. And so we book the 2022 Disney cruise for after the Dopey Challenge so that Peter can do the challenge, the 5K on the island, and do the whole Castaway Key um, challenge. Yada, yada. I actually don't... I actually don't think the Castaway Key challenge was actually happening at that, that this year because it was January. Um... But yes, we book it with our friends, the Earhearts. It's going to be amazing. Um, come Dopey Weekend, Peter's running the races. He's doing great. Jamesy gets sick. We're like, okay, it's all right. Like, he's a baby. Like, we'll just kind of go, touch and go. Um, another day goes by. He's still sick. And then the night before the cruise, Peter and I got so ill. So, so ill. And so... Yet again, we had to cancel our 2022 cruise because we could not get on that cruise ship in the state that we were. Um, and yeah, so we have not gotten on a Disney cruise after booking the first cruise in July of 2019. And we have booked again for <laughs> January 2023 after the Dopey Challenge. They are doing the Castaway Key Challenge. Um, and so this is why the cruise is so long coming and that is why we are being so serious about our health for the next coming weeks. So I, that's, that's the recap on the cruise. It's obviously going to be incredible to have our boys with us on this cruise. You know, when we booked it, it was because our first transfer didn't work and like you people, you know, you do IVF and IVF is not guaranteed that first transfer didn't work and we we're just like, you see, we were so, there was so much uncertainty at that time and I'm so, so grateful for where we are and um, we're gonna celebrate our, to our heart's content on that cruise. The Earhearts will also be on the cruise. Some other friends are also gonna be on the cruise, so it's a big deal. There's a lot of people that we love that will be joining us. Um, so that is that on that. No more putting it off. I'm gonna do this Peloton ride and I'll see you on the other side. I am all done. 
it went well. I'm definitely not as red as usual. I didn't like have as much output, um, but still it was nice to get back on. Also just a heads up, I know I've talked about the show Dead to Me before. I just wanna point out because I like talk about it and recommend it. Um, there are a lot of triggers in that show. Um, infertility is one of them. Cancer is another, I don't know why. Um, no way I think to watch it because it is there's a lot of heavy stuff and some of it is hard to watch but I, I just really think it's a great show overall and there's like there's heavy language there's substance abuse um, so I would just look a little bit extra into it if you're interested um, but the thing I look for the most in my movies and TV shows are that I don't know what's going to happen next I really just like unpredictability and that's exactly what this show is um so yeah it's on netflix a new season it might, it might be the last season i'm not sure but a new season dropped um in november so if you haven't seen it yet it's on netflix all right the kids are asleep it is late so we're gonna go to bed tomorrow's thursday which is like friday eve which is like the ultimate friday eve because even though i'm working next week um it's like the really like the end of the year corporate america begins to slow down people are out of the office like crazy so that's exciting it's good to be home she's so tired <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>